Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.13.1 has been released. This is snapshot 18w33a. This one fixes more bugs and increases the performance of worlds with liquids in them, which is probably good for the update aquatic, wouldn't you say? My name is Sliced Lime, let's go through all the changes in this version. Let's start with gameplay. When blocking an attack with a shield, your armor would still lose durability that's fixed in the snapshot. In adventure mode, it was still possible to place buckets, that is water, lava, or fish buckets, all of them were possible in adventure mode. Tritons didn't return to their owner even if they had the appropriate enchant if you had reloaded the world. And if you upgraded from 1.12.2 or earlier, then trapped chests that were already placed in the world would stop triggering redstone through the floor that's fixed in the snapshot. Some mob fixes as well. Fish spawned from buckets would count towards the aquatic mob cap. That meant that if you spawned enough fish in your aquarium, then no more fish would spawn in the oceans that's fixed in this version. Drowned from ocean ruins would never spawn with tridents or nautilus shells or fishing rods. That meant that obtaining those items were vastly more difficult than it should have been. And the witches didn't despawn correctly if they had a potion effect applied to them that's also fixed in the snapshot. One fix for a visual bug, entities did not render properly when they were next to an invisible spider, a charged creeper or a wither boss with armor. And a bunch of fixes to the user interface. Buckets of tropical fish now list what type of fish they are carrying. This is one of two variants, either it's a preset name, one of anemone, black tang, blue tang, butterfly fish, cichlid, clownfish, cotton candy betta, dotty back, emperor red snapper, Goatfish, Moorish Idol, Ornate Butterflyfish, Parrotfish, Queen Angelfish, Red Cichlid, Red Lipped Blenny, Red Snapper, Threadfin, Tomato Clownfish, Triggerfish, Yellow Tailed Parrotfish, or Yellow Tang. Or it's one of a more generic set of names Flopper, Stripey, Glitter, Blockfish, Betty, Clayfish, Cobb, Sunstreak, Snooper, Dasher, Briny, or Spotty, with its colors listed on a separate row. The cooldown overlay for item stacks with more than one item in them have been fixed. Also there was a stone item that appeared in the item deletion slot if you resized the window, and the beacon effect icon didn't behave properly when a beacon overwrote a potion effect already on a player. A few fixes to commands in this version, you were able to teleport out of a bed, you could use the slash teleport command to teleport yourself out of a bed, but you wouldn't stop sleeping, so when the sleeping ended, you would end up back at the side of the bed. And a sweep attack could knock back armor stands even if they were set to marker that's fixed in this snapshot. And a spelling mistake in the warning message for trying to execute too many chained commands has been fixed. In addition to that, fixes to performance and stability. Those were the changes for this version. Now do note that snapshots are less well tested than normal releases and we already know about one fairly critical bug in this snapshot. Mobs will now spawn in broad daylight, the spawning system no longer cares about light level at all. And of course, since it is less well tested, we don't know what other bugs lurk in the corners. So if you try this version out, do it on a separate test world or make sure you have a backup of your world. If you want to try it out, head into your Minecraft launcher, go to Launch Options and Enable Snapshots. Read the warning message you get and click OK, then head back to the News tab. Now select the latest snapshot profile in the drop down box next to the play button and start the game. Now you'll be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 18w33a. And that was all for this time. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.